All right, we have recorded a bunch of cues. We've recorded a couple of palettes. It's about time we put the two things together. So what we're going to do, I've recorded a Q19 down here, which is essentially a blackout, and it's running on the stage at the moment. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to record a cue with uh, 103 and 104 at full. And we're going to put them in position palette A. Now you might recall, if you have a look at the stage, you, can, you will recall that that is those two uh, spots pointing at that corner of the stage ready to go. I'm going to record that as Q20. And uh, you can see on the stage when I actually grab 103 and 104 and put them in the second position palette, they'll drive around to the other side of the stage. And looking at the screen, um, we can see when I record that as the next cue, you can see I've got deltaed um, the, in the pan and tilt position on the screen here. Exactly, uh, it, it says delta position to OP. I'll record that as Q21. All right, and it's actually telling me the palette position here that these moving lights happen to be in. So as I'm running through my show and I uh, step forward and, and I'm doing everything that I, that I want to do, <coughs> I'm hearing Q20 and I go, oh, you know what, I just need to touch up the position of those lights. I look at the screen and I go, oh, they're part of a palette. Do I want to update the palette or do I want to make a hard change to this particular cue? This is a question you need to ask yourself. All right. So what we'll do, we're actually going to um, uh, record this same sequence again. So Q20, I'm going to record this as Q22 so that we can see what happens when we change a palette. Okay, all I did was I was in the state of Q20, uh, Q20 and I typed Q22 record. But we'll go back to Q20, all right? So here we are, state of Q20. We've got um, this particular palette up on the stage, all right, and we're going to tweak the position of uh, these two lights, all right. So I'm going to just grab both of them, and if you have a look at the console, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this trackball, and I'm just going to manipulate the position ever so slightly. It's nothing any particular arty, it's just created new positions and on the screen you can see that the um, the pan and tilt numbers have actually deltaed up and uh, they're no longer part of the palette. Now when I hit update if I go update Q20 and the deltas are on those lights so I'm going to go update update you'll see that those pan and tilt numbers have locked in, all right? And I haven't actually altered the palette. So when I go back to Q22, this particular one is uh, showing the lights in, uh, have a look at the stage and I'll just jump to um, the other palette. So this is Q22, so you can see Q22 in that position. I'm gonna type, go to uh, Q20 and you'll see that they've moved slightly to the position of Q20. So what I've actually just updated there is just the Q. All right, but what if I actually wanted to update the palette? All right, so let's do exactly that. Let's have a look at the screen. And uh, what we'll do is we'll grab those two lights. I'll manipulate the, uh, the uh, position again so that, there we go, they're uh, both got deltas on them again. And this time I'm going to update that palette A, that first palette, palette number one. I'm going to do this by actually going update and then hitting the palette position. All right. So what it's actually done is it, the only thing it's done is it's updated the palette. It hasn't actually updated the queue yet. It, what would be nice would be a means to have some kind of magic update that 
updated both the palette and the queue and you're able to kind of see exactly what was going on all right in one step wouldn't that be lovely well i'm going to go shift update shift update brings up a little dialog box this little dialog box allows you to do exactly that oh okay yes i want to update that and i want to update the palette that's what i want it to do perfect and it does the two things in the one step.